Welcome to Cooking with Alba and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make potato balls which is stuffed with vegetables and a bit of protein, any protein of your choice. This is sweet, this is savory, this is yummy, this is healthy. And to kick off, I begin by boiling my potatoes with some water and salt. Usually what I do is to peel and cut my potatoes and keep it in the freezer so that it gives it a longer shelf life. Yes, yeah, so once you take it out of the freezer, you just put it into your hot water, boil it up till it is done. That should take you like 10 to 15 minutes. Once this is cooked or chewed, you're going to actually what? Mash it up. You don't want this to cook and become peche peche. No, you want it to cook and still be firm. Don't get it overly cooked and mushy, else you're not going to get very good result. And if this cools down too much before you mash it up, it's going to be so powdery and flaky and you'll get very good results as well. So there and there, midway, you just make sure that you actually would mash it up. You can use a potato masher or your earthenware pot, earthenware bowl like I used here, my asanka. To need, um, for you to also do this, you need some bread crumbs. And usually when I dry the old bread and in the sun or however I want to dry it, once it's done, I just um, sieve it out and I blend the rest of the crash to do it. So that's all I'm going to be using for it. Vegetables with a bit of chicken, I've got some eggs, which I've separated the yolks from the white. And then, of course, I've got some flour, um, salt, um, spice. Yes, white pepper, black pepper, any one that you have. And then, of course, a bit of um, pastry spice always does well for me. And the breadcrumbs is also there. And the potatoes. So I'm just going to mix all of this up. If you don't have the, the spice, pastry spice, you can check it on my 10 essential spices. But any of them should work for you. So I pour in the coarse breadcrumbs because it can't go to waste. I add the egg yolks, my vegetables, and then the chopped chicken. Everything has to be well kind of chopped or diced, however you want it. But then I think it's easy to eat when it is not, um, how do you call it, overly chunky. So you have to be very careful about it. Then I'm just going to mix everything up in there. The yolk is going in because if you mix your egg white with yolk and you coat it, you're not going to get very good results. With the coating so usually the yolk rather goes into the mixture then once i'm done i'm just going to form these into balls yeah so once you form these into balls and um, before you move to the next stage where you're going to be actually be coating it so yes um just do cute balls that you can eat don't forget that these are supposed to be something that's uh, handy just pick you bite through then within one or two three bites you are done don't go and do some overly chunky it's a kind of potato balls <laughs> And when you're, when you're doing the molds or the balls, one thing you can also do is that make sure that you're pushing the vegetables into it, especially the carrots, else it will be piercing on the outside. So I just arrange things up. It's first going to go into my egg white, which is going to help it coat the other stuff. So the egg white, then it goes into the flour, and then it goes back into the egg white, and then we move into the breadcrumbs. It's optional. If you don't want to use flour or you are gluten free or something, you can decide to use um, whichever one. I've seen people use um, cornflakes and all those ones. Depending on how it or what you want to coat it with, some just do with just egg. I have one video online. Yes, my yam balls where I thought on, I thought like how many options or different ways to actually coat your balls, your meat balls, yam balls. Yes, so you can actually look at that. And if you are doing ketogenic diet, you can also check my corned beef balls, which is more keto friendly on the channel as well. You can just check that up as well. So yes, uh, like I said, you're going to coat. Usually when you do the double or triple coating, you get a very fair kind of crusty something around it. And as I'm doing this, I'm also having it in a tray, which has a bit of flour base in so that it doesn't stick onto it. So you need to do the balls first before you go to the stage. Because once your oil is heated and you start frying, it's a whole different movement. So egg white, flour base, egg white, breadcrumbs. Then we're done with the rolling. If you want to do extra coats, you can go more with it. And so, yes, um, this is very easy to do. And it's fun. You can even do it with the kits, you know, and have some fun as well. You need to also be very careful when you're actually coating this so that you don't end up using your fingers to remove all the coats from it. Mind you, I'm cooking it in my house for myself to eat. So that's why I'm not using the gloves and all those ones. But if you just, it's your own stuff. If you're doing it for commercial purposes, you'd have to obviously check your gloves 
and all those ones as well. So once you do this, um, if your egg white finishes, you'd have to obviously add in more egg whites. I think I had to add an extra egg to this. So you need to be mindful of it. But then the thing is, don't add your yolk to the egg white. Separate your yolk from your egg white. And make sure that before you get to this process, you've already molded all your potato balls. And then before you start frying, make sure that you've already what, coated all of them. Then you heat up your pan, you add in your cooking oil, any oil of your preference works. Let this heat up before you actually would start frying because you don't want this to actually pick up so much oil in there as well. Then you just put them in and they're going to allow it to fry over medium high heat. If the heat is low, it's going to be, you know, taking in so much oil, becoming very fatty. If the oil is very heated or the heat is so high, it's going to end up browning or burning without it what, properly cooking. So you need to be very much mindful and careful about that as well. So as this is frying up, you're just going to be rotating it and then turning for all the other parts of this to actually what, brown beautifully. Usually you want to get a golden brown kind of look and don't let it do golden brown in the oil, please, I beg you. If it turns golden brown in the oil, by the time it is done cooling down, it's going to be way darker in color. So once you see the ends, you know, becoming a bit brownish, yes, just take them out because once they cool down, you're going to really get that golden brown kind of look in there. And this is very simple, very easy to do. Yes, it doesn't take long to actually fry them, but make sure you are draining all the oil from the, you know, the thing too properly, yes. And this is my simple potato balls, which is sweeter, tasty, yummy, very healthy. And I keep the rest, you know, in the microwave bubble bowl, which goes into the fridge. Whenever you're ready, you can eat this up. You can even try to stew this up. You can eat it, you know, for your lunch, for your breakfast, for your supper. However, you want to eat it. Yes, this is actually good. So, yes, if you did like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and make sure that I see you in the next food video. But till then, leave life to the fullest. Be joyous. Be merry. Lots of love for my team and I. Mwah.